हाई एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर अंकुर जैन साइकेट्री गुरु ऑन ई गुरुकुल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मेंटल स्टेटस एग्जामिनेशन इन साइकेट्री वी मेक डायग्नोसिस बाय मेंटल स्टेटस एग्जामिनेशन दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्क दैट इन साइकेट्री डायग्नोसिस इज मेड बाय मेंटल स्टेटस एग्जामिनेशन इट मस्ट बी डिफ्रेंशिएटेड फ्रॉम मिनी मेंटल स्टेटस एग्जामिनेशन मिनी मेंटल स्टेटस एग्जामिनेशन एम एम एस सी एम एम एस सी इज यूज टू डिटरमाइन द कोग्नेटिव स्टेटस इन कोग्नेटिव डिक्लाइन मिनी मेंटल स्टेटस एग्जामिनेशन स्कोर इज लो इन एम एम एस सी आई एम डिस्क्राइबिंग एम एम एस सी फर्स्ट येस दैन वी विल डिस्कस मेंटल स्टेटस एग्जामिनेशन मैनी टाइम क्वेश्चन आर आस्क एंड दे ट्राई टू कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन दीज टू दीज टू टू थिंग्स आर क्वाइट डिफरेंट इन मिनी मेंटल स्टेटस एग्जामिनेशन देर आर थर्टी क्वेश्चन एंड ईच क्वेश्चन इज गिविन वन मार्क्स टू थर्टी मार्क्स वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन अबाउट ओरिएंटेशन ओरिएंटेशन टू टाइम ओरिएंटेशन टू प्लेस वाट इज द ईयर वाट इज द सीजन दीज टाइप्स ऑफ सिंपल क्वेश्चन इफ ए पर्सन इज नॉट एबल टू टेल दीज टाइप्स ऑफ सिंपल क्वेश्चन वी सस्पेक्ट डिमेंशिया एंड वी फाउंड दैट इफ स्कोर इज ट्वेंटी थ्री और लेस देन ट्वेंटी थ्री दैन डिमेंशिया सो इन डिमेंशिया द स्कोर इज ट्वेंटी थ्री और लेस देन ट्वेंटी थ्री दिस इज फॉर कोग्नेटिव डिक्लाइन एम एस सी कोग्नेटिव डिक्लाइन सो वी कम टू आवर मेन टॉपिक दैट इज मेंटल स्टेटस एग्जामिनेशन इन विच वी डू डायग्नोसिस ऑफ साइकेट्रिक इलनेस and in this there is no fixed number of question this question is asked we usually confuse with this 30 okay no fixed number of question in mental status examination different patient the number of question may differ and this mental status examination is done in multiple points first is general appearance and behavior other is psychomotor activity speech affect thought perception higher mental function so we start with first general appearance and behavior in psychiatry diagnosis start when the patient enter the opd suppose a patient entered the opd there is a girl young girl having so many linear scar mark on forearm what i said linear scar marks on forearm and you took history that she is having impulsive behavior impulsive behavior this is a small small issue she become aggressive impulsive so this will suggest a tentative diagnosis of borderline personality disorder borderline border line personality disorder so line line multiple line border line so many times you will find question linear scar mark multiple linear scar mark impulsive behavior and young girl yes immediately you think of border line personality disorder other than that you will find that the general appearance also tells about uh, other symptoms suppose a patient entered the opd and he is looking here and there just like he is suspecting that there is some camera hidden camera means he is suspicious sometime patient is talking to himself he is replying to some voices means it is the word is used self muttering the word is used self muttering that is suggestive of that is not diagnostic that is suggestive of auditory hallucination what is auditory hallucination means there is nobody around and patient is hearing voices so why i am telling you because nowadays in clinical question you will not find that the patient is having hallucination they will say that the patient is behaving in such a way he is replying the voices or the patient is having self muttering he stand up he stands up from the chair and go to the window and shout loudly means he might be responding to some external voices so means this appearance will tell you multiple things and you will proceed your interview in a particular direction 
so this is the significance now general appearance and behavior second is psychomotor activity i have not asked any question till now i am only observing the patient now psychomotor activity means motor activity which is influenced by psychological state no need to remember the definition motor activity which is influenced by the psychological state you must have experienced if you are happy you are moving here and they are telling your story nicely means movements are increased your motor activity is increased your psychomotor activity is increased but you are sad little bit sad you remain seated at one place don't talk so much don't do movement so much means your psychomotor activity is decreased and you know mania is excessive happiness depression is decreased happiness so or sadness so in mania usually not always increase psychomotor activity in depression usually decrease psychomotor activity question is asked psychomotor activity is increased in mania decrease in depression let me give you a very good example of your friend yes your best friend was proposed by a girl now he is so happy is jumping here and there and tell you the whole story she came to me she was wearing this dress and she was she was on scooty she proposed me by red claw means he is continuously telling you continuously telling you he is very happy and jumping from here to there means his psychomotor activity is increased okay and he is speaking it so fluently you want to stop him you want to interrupt him friend friend listen he would not listen to you he will tell you okay she met me like that and then blah 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 and means you are unable to interrupt that person we see his speech has pressure means speech there is a question pressure of speech means interviewer can't interrupt the patient the patient means he is speaking so fluently you want to stop him you are unable to your patient has gone into men your friend has gone into mania so this is mania psychomotor activity mania pressure of speech you want to interrupt your friend but he is not you can't interrupt him because he will tell you the whole story you must have experience in your life your other friend your another friend who is depressed was not accepted or his proposal was not accepted now he is sad he is not speaking to anybody yes his rate tone volume of speech is decreased decreased decrease rate of speech tone of speech volume of speech will be decreased in depression okay but in mania there would be all these things would be increased other than this yes pressure of speech may be present sometime question is asked that patient there is a patient who is in mania he is speaking speaking continuously interviewer want to interrupt him but unable to interrupt this phenomena is means want to interrupt but unable to interrupt means that this phenomena is pressure of speech and is seen in mania clear so we have discussed only those part which are commonly asked yes now affect mood or emotion fourth point i am going to discuss affect affect is emotional state affect is emotional state which is expressed outward and can be observed suppose a patient comes to me he is sitting in front of me and he is smiling i would say he might be happy because his emotional state is happiness and which is expressed outward in the form of smile so emotional state which is expressed outward that is called affect this is cross sectional this is for the timing right i write cross sectional 
what does it mean i will tell you don't worry so affect is emotional state sitting in front of me he is smiling expressed outward yes in the form of smile and a smile and i can observe it that is affect but i ask him how are you feeling for last few days he said my wife tortures me a lot but at this time i am smiling in front of you but actually i am very sad for a long time mood mood means emotional state felt inward you can't see can't be observed how to remember mood matlab man ki baat yes not man ki baat of modi ji that is different man ki baat means you can't observe his emotional state you can only yes know when he will tell you otherwise you can't know yes so a person may be sad for a long time and sitting in front of you and smiling you will say his affect is happy but his mood is sad and sad for so many days so longitudinal longitudinal means lambe time se longitudinal lambe time se longitudinal okay cross sectional at a particular point of time he is sitting in front of me at this time he is smiling so i would say affect is cross sectional so affect or mood these are the emotional state these words are used interchangeably but many time they ask question about the difference of affect and mood and there are so many abnormalities of affect of affect and mood in many psychiatric illness and this help us to make the diagnosis of psychiatric illness let me get, take abnormality of quality of affect quality quality means yes it may be happy it may be sad normally we are happy we are sad on small small issues and this is a normal part of our life suppose my lecture is going well yes i am little bit happy suppose my lecture is not being attended by you and you are not enjoying my lecture i become little bit sad so it is a normal part of normal life it's not any psychiatric illness but if it is more than that then it becomes pathological let me take your example of your friend same friend who was proposed by a girl now he was so happy was jumping here and there and he was he was having pressure of speech he was telling you each and everything yes and now he goes into euphoria means your friend who was proposed by a girl now go you will remember the story and it would be helpful to remember the questions okay now he goes into euphoria he was so happy there was a beggar he took out 500 rupees note to give to beggar i am happy you also remain happy this is normal yes it's normal you must have done this thing many time after taking alcohol <laughs> after taking alcohol but actually yes what happens that this is if you are distributing these 500 rupees note to each and every beggar for 7 days 8 days 10 days 20 days means then i would say you are in euphoria euphoria means excessive happiness excessive happiness beyond the point of relevance beyond the point of relevance means if your friend give 500 rupees to one beggar it is relevant if he is distributing 500 rupees to each and every beggar then it goes beyond the point of relevance once it is relevant but beyond the point then it is euphoria you will say your friend is in euphoria now your friend distributing note and started dancing by playing music or without music dj wale babu mera gana bajate and started dancing now i would say he is having excessive happiness beyond the point of relevance and he is dancing means psychomotor activity is increased so elation is euphoria plus increase psychomotor activity yes euphoria plus increase psychomotor activity is elation so uh, 
after that he started saying that i am the most handsome boy of the universe he started saying i am the most handsome boy he is not you all know yes he is not you all know but he started saying i am the most handsome boy means he has delusion of grandiosity so i say if a person is having excessive happiness beyond the point of relevance euphoria next level is elation means is psychomotor activity also increased exaltation means elation plus delusion of grandiosity grandiosity grand badi baat hai yes i am the more smartest person on the universe or in the universe on the earth yes i am most powerful person in the world i am the richest person on the earth that is delusion of grandiosity i am having power of lord anuman that is delusion of grandiosity so in this patient yes i am i am telling you that quality of fact happiness excessive happiness levels are euphoria elation exaltation now we found that depressed mood next i take sadness sadness is depressed mood depressed mood should be sadness should be in this sadness should be persistent persistent and pervasive what does it mean nowadays these questions are being asked what is persistent means over time the patient is sad means a depressed patient is sad throughout the day that is persistent pervasive means all aspect of life whatever he may be doing he is watching movie he is sad he is talking to his friend he is sad he is eating he is sad he is talking to his girlfriend and he is happy this is not pervasive pervasive means all aspect of life means jeevan ke har pehlu mein dukh hi dukh hai yes that is pervasive so depressed mood we will say when this is sadness is persistent and pervasive so these are the abnormality of quality of effect questions are asked clear now abnormality of fluctuations of effect means normally our mood fluctuate in a day you must have seen that many times we become little bit happy little bit sad okay with small small issues that is normal part of normal life but sometimes patient become excessively happy or sad yes one is labile effect one is labile effect what is labile means unstable unstable effect you must have seen many hindi movies that a person is laughing suddenly start into crying yes they yes, suddenly start crying a person is laughing suddenly goes into tears yes or a person is crying suddenly start laughing you can see remember like this haste haste rona sikho rote rote hasna wo galat sikha rahe the otherwise yes you would have according to secretary labile mode so itna bhi nahi karna yes you must have seen many celebrity i don't mention yes it's i'm not saying that anybody is having a particular disorder yes but yes rakhi sawant you must have seen at uh, many places that she mm. yes she describes something happily suddenly goes into tears okay that is labile mode that is labile mode unstable mode okay or emotional lability mnemonic is mdh mdh mania dementia hysterionic personality yes mania dementia hysterionic personality that is labile mode means at one time patient is happy at another time patient means immediately after this happiness suddenly goes into tears or suddenly yes a person is crying suddenly become happy okay mdh degi mirch i have taken this is yes, mnemonic is m d h this is initial letter mnemonic that is called acronym this is very weak memory technique 
बट यू कैन मेक इट स्ट्रोंगर बाई एडिंग द कंसेप्ट सपोज ए पर्सन इज स्माइलिंग एंड यू गिव हिम एम डी एच मिर्च ही विल इमीडिएटली गो इन टू टीयर सो यू विल रिमेंबर एम डी एच ए पर्सन हु इज स्माइलिंग गोज इन टू टीयर्स मीन्स अनस्टेबल मोड और लेबाइल मोड सो अल्टीमेटली द गोल इज टू रिमेंबर and you can remember conceptually mnemonic can be framed conceptually conceptual mnemonic just like i added it with the concept now affective blunting affective blunting what is affective blunting it is seen in schizophrenia schizophrenia we found that schizophrenic patient there is no fluctuation normally we have fluctuation in the affect when sometimes happy sometimes sad depending on the situation but in schizophrenia you will find that there is no fluctuation that is so called blunting of affect or affective flattening affective flattening let me give you example how questions are asked there is a person a schizophrenic patient the, you come to this schizophrenic patient suppose i am a schizophrenic patient you come to me and say you have won 1 crore rupees lottery i would say i am a schizophrenic patient i would say okay i have won if a normal person would say, oh yes yeah i have won yes he would be very happy yes or no yes but a schizophrenic patient no fluctuation in the emotion means affective flattening or affective flattening although there is a little bit difference in the flattening and blunting but at your level you can remember both are same and these are seen in schizophrenia in the same way is a schizophrenic patient is sitting and you come and tell him that your mother died any normal person would start crying but schizophrenic patient would say okay my mother died means no effect no emotional change no fluctuation okay that is affective blunting seen in schizophrenia or affective flattening now abnormality of appropriateness of affect appropriateness of affect or inappropriate affect yes in appropriate affect means affect not matching with the social situation yes if i say a schizophrenic patient is there schizophrenic patient is there and he was invited in the marriage of deepika of course deepika padukone deepika ranbir and this patient go to the marriage party of deepika and start crying start crying you will say that uh, affect of yes marriage is a social situation in which everybody is supposed to be happy and now a person of schizophrenia goes and start crying then you will say affect is not matching affect is not matching emotional state is not matching with the social situation yes marriage is the social situation in which everybody is supposed to be happy in the same way a schizophrenic patient would go to the birthday party of tamu and start crying yes tamu shafali karina yes start crying so you will say that inappropriate affect suppose a schizophrenic person goes to funeral and start laughing so that funeral is a social situation everybody is supposed to be sad but now start laughing you will see inappropriate affect got the point what is abnormality of congruency of affect or incongruent affect that is affect is not matching with the thought content suppose this is a schizophrenic patient playing congo yes just to remember i congruent i remember yes i made took this diagram so you will at least have i am describing congo congruent effect so a schizophrenic patient is describing describing the death of mother death of mother he is describing death of mother happily he is so smiling yes means thought content is death of mother thought content is 
death of mother and thought is expressed in the form of speech just like whatever i am thinking i am delivering in the form of speech the thoughts are expressed in the form of speech this person has thought of death of mother the death of mother is thought of sadness and he is describing happily so this is this is incongruent effect many times you will be confused in inappropriate and incongruent that's why i have given the picture you will remember this is the social these are the social situation in social situation effect is not matching that is inappropriate effect clear and content is not matching you will remember this person is a schizophrenic patient and he is describing the death of mother happily so why why these are important because you will find when you will dis we will discuss or read uh, schizophrenia at that time many features you already know just like uh, this uh, affective blending is seen in schizophrenia inappropriate affect is seen in schizophrenia incongruent affect is in schizophrenia seen in schizophrenia in the same way in mania these are seen in mania pressure of speech seen in mania psychomotor activity increase in mania so that's why psychopathology is very important component and this can be used for the discussion in further discussion now perception next point is perception yes perception is any information which we get with our sensory organ we touch we smell we taste we we see we hear these are perceptions five perception you know all know that is a sometimes there are abnormalities in perception and those are the question first abnormality in perception is illusion illusion is a misinterpretation of stimuli this question is direct single line of many time misinterpretation interpretation of stimuli means suppose a person let me give you example on which questions are asked a person is in trouble state of mind suppose i am worried something yes tensed i am going through a dark street and i saw a rope and considered this rope as a snake means stimulus is there in the form of rope the rope is there i means stimulus is present and i misinterpreted as misinterpreted as rope so that is misinterpretation of stimulus illusion a question pattern of nbe a question was asked that a couple was sleeping husband got frightened who got frightened husband got frightened yes this is the era of woman empowerment yes reflected by this question also yes husband got frightened when wife switch on the light they found that the curtain is folded in the person in the shape of a person means husband considered that folded curtain as thief or a person is standing over there so means the stimulus was there in the form of curtain <clears throat> and husband misinterpreted it as thief so this is misinterpretation of stimuli illusion let me tell you one real life story once my friend came and we took we did some party i was quite late and so fearful of my wife as usual yes i entered the room yes it was dark and she was i i saw knife in her hand i was so frightened but when i switched on the light i found this was a black pen this was a black pen or i was saved yes so knife pen yes i took same color just to put the humor it's not like that i am never never afraid i i restrict my discussion okay so yes i should not do like that okay otherwise you know the consequences so just to put the humor in, otherwise 
you all know the reality hallucinations hallucination means perception without a stimulus perception without a stimulus perception without a stimulus means no stimulus suppose there is nobody around and i am hearing voices that is hallucination means no stimulus but the patient will hear voices or see a person so clearly so 3d so live means vivid means clear very very clear means a patient comes to me let me tell you the story a patient comes to me and he says yes he is responding to some voices you ask him what is happening he would say somebody is calling me he would say there is nobody i can't hear any voice he would say no no doctor sir i can hear these voice so clearly means actually there is nobody there is nobody percept but he is percepting without a stimulus means no stimulus in hallucination it is vivid means clear you ask him okay you are hearing voices who are those persons who are talking or who are saying something to you he will tell you that those are two persons are talking that they say we will kill him means it is vivid clear he can tell you the exact number of patient male female and what they are talking about okay insight you will say no 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 i can't hear voices how can you hear he would say no doctor sir these voices are real i don't know why you are not so i can hear these voices very clear means insight is absent he is not aware that he is not having hallucination he would say doctor sir i know that these are somebody is talking you will ask okay these voices are coming from where he would say these voices are coming from outside my body means from outside the door or behind the wall that is means outer and objective space you ask a patient can you control these voices if you want to stop these voices patient would say doctor i try many time i want to stop these voices i put finger in my ear i i i ask them not to speak even then i can't control these comes spontaneously and goes spontaneously these are not under my willful control so these are true hallucination yes a person is hearing voices without anybody yes clear voice he has no insight he according to him these are the true voices these are coming from outer space not under willful control a question is asked about what is the difference between true hallucination and pseudo hallucination everything is same pseudo hallucination no stimulus they are clear but insight is present insight is present they are at inner and subjective space inner and subjective space this no willful control yes everything is same except these two except these two how to remember yes flashback you example if you write the example flashback flashback of ptsd post traumatic stress disorder in post traumatic stress disorder suppose a trauma occurred accident occurred bomb blast occurred in front of a person's eye then he started having same picture inside his mind means what is flashback suppose a person suffered a trauma road traffic accident yes very severe accident war bomb blast rape patient is sitting and same same event occurred means the picture of same event flashes inside his mind flashes inside in his mind or her mind yes inner and subjective space and he or she knows that this event has already occurred 
this event has already occurred this is not real i am having this flashback means it is inside is present otherwise actually this thing has already occurred so this is not occurring no stimulus now this is vivid clear he as i saw as i told you he will see the image very clear his image very clear okay and can't control means sitting spontaneously these images coming so pseudo hallucinations so true hallucination pseudo hallucination sometimes i say if you you uh, don't remember these thing yes i i made a very uh, yes uh, you know interesting mnemonic type your friend who takes alcohol says that friend friend i start hearing voices of my girlfriend after taking alcohol more than quarter i know that if i take less than quarter then it's okay but whenever i take more than quarter i start hearing voices of my girlfriend means he has insight that i hear these voices only and only i hear these voices only and only i take alcohol insight is present you ask him what these voices says are they clear yes yes they are so clear she says i love you i love you my girlfriend hai to girlfriend would say i love you i love you so means clear voices actually girlfriend is saying i love you i love you so many time in reality not so so in reality mein to itni baar nahi kahegi you all know ओके बट इसकी बात मान लेते हैं ही इज हियरिंग ही इज एंजॉइंग दैट हेलोसिनेशन आफ्टर टेकिंग वन क्वार्टर और बियॉन्ड दैट क्वार्टर यस मींस नो स्टिमुलस एक्चुअली शी इज नॉट सेइंग बट ही इज हियरिंग वेरी क्लियर आई लव यू आई लव यू ही नोज दैट दिस इज नॉट हर दिस इज द एल्कोहल विच इज स्पीकिंग एंड यू आस्क हिम दीज वोइस इज आर कमिंग फ्रॉम वेयर या फ्रेंड दिल से आ रही आवाज गर्लफ्रेंड की आवाज है दिस आर कमिंग फ्रॉम माय हार्ट यस इनर एंड सब्जेक्टिव स्पेस इनर एंड सब्जेक्टिव स्पेस एंड वी आस्क हिम डू यू कैन यू स्टॉप दिस ही वुड से नो डॉक्टर साहब आई कांट स्टॉप दिस नीदर आई वांट टू स्टॉप लेट हर से आई लव यू आई लव यू ओके मींस ही कांट or she can't control these voices pseudo hallucination example is flashback okay so these are the hallucination true and pseudo hallucination difference yes negative otoscopy means no image in the mirror no image in mirror you must have seen grand grand masti in this no image of ghost in mirror but in this the patient see can't see his own image patient can't see his own image in mirror okay not others okay just to tell you a little bit in making to make interesting little bit idea you can remember the name uh, by the name itself negative means no auto means self scopy means visualize karna means you can't visualize self even in the mirror the question was asked nb pattern question there was a girl holding a mirror in her hand and there was no image in the mirror and they ask which phenomena is this and the answer was negative otoscopy so this is negative otoscopy now what is reflex hallucination reflex hallucination also called synesthesia syn means combination syn means combination aesthesia means sensation combination of sensation what i said synesthesia means combination of sensation a person says that whenever i hear voices of ringing bell i also see pen normally i am not seeing any pen but whenever ringing bell voice or sound come in my ear i start visualizing pen in my hand 
means in the reflex of these voices these pan is being seen means in this stimulus stimulus in one modality means sensory organ and hallucination in another modality okay stimulus in one modality means auditory and hallucination in other modality visual just like so this is reflex hallucination it is seen in after using cannabis yes you all know holy is near never ever use cannabis it may lead to psychosis okay cannabis or lsd question complex hallucination means halluc hallucination in more than one modality more than one modality yes hallucination in more than one modality yes just like lagi raho munna bhai you must have seen that movie in which the patient in the sanjay dat used to see babu and also hear babu means he can hear means auditory hallucination he can see visual hallucination suppose you all are hallucinating i am not there means but you are seeing me and hearing me so this is a type of complex hallucination more than one modality tactile hallucination is usually common in cocaine use and that's why called cocaine bug cockroach i made the mnemonic cockroach means patient feel as if insects are crawling under the skin yes patient feel patient feel as if insects are crawling under skin so this is tactile hallucination means touch tactile hallucination frequently asked question there is a question a 29 year old male is taking cocaine yes cocaine is very uh, commonly associated with tactile hallucination cocaine male is taking cocaine for last few years now he starts seeing co insects crawling over the skin diagnosis is option a option a tactile hallucination option b auditory hallucination option c complex hallucination option d visual hallucination yes definitely answer is answer is yes point it out point it out in the same question is yes look at this seeing if feel then tactile but seeing the answer would not be tactile the answer would be visual hallucination yes and if in the same is see and feel see and feel means both seeing and feeling means more than one sensation yes then it is a complex hallucination then it is a complex hallucination both see and feel complex hallucination only feel only feel tactile hallucination so this type question only feel tactile see only visual both see and feel then it is complex hallucination means hallucination in more than one modality now you understood what is the concept of complex hallucination okay thank you you must have enjoyed the session best of luck best 
always always remain positive being a psychiatrist my duty to tell you that uh, the positive thinking always give extra benefit other than study we should remain positive we should maintain our health for oh, not only physical but mental and this is quite proven fact that if you do physical exercise only 15 minutes a day that will keep you your mind fresh and more active so thank you again best of luck